First time I met Norman in person, he was actually proposing um, his vision for uh, our new building, our new headquarters. And what struck me about Norman at first was he had an incredibly hopeful vision for the future. And as I got to know him, what I found m most um, engaging about him is he listens to you very deeply. And it might be one of his greatest characteristics. He listens deeply. And then he is able, by his unique gift, to play back a vision that's aligned with yours, but it has this impeccable um, design ethos that uh, you would have never imagined on your own. So the new tower for J.P. Morgan is, it's terrific. It's, uh, it is forward thinking in almost every way. And Norman is a big part of it. And as I said before, Norman's ability to listen to the folks who matter at J.P. Morgan, starting with Jamie Dimon and all of his partners on the operating committee, is the thing that set Norman apart. So first of all, it's, uh, it's a magnificent design. So the tower itself is a great contribution in terms of the skyline. It's different. It points to the future. And yet it is the quintessential New York skyscraper. It... Um, it respects the city's street grid and the ortho orthogonal nature of, uh, of New York City and the, the streetscape, and yet it really points to the future. So it, for the most part, skyscrapers, they're really big uh, and uh, they do impact the skyline, but is, it is the pedestrian experience, the human experience, that's really important. How you feel the minute you step on the curb. One of the firm's uh, goals was to be respectful and connect to the community. It's one of the things that we've done for the last 200 years in New York. We've been a catalyst for lots of communities and neighborhoods in New York, by the way, and around the world. And uh, so this building engages the, the community and the people right at the curb. And the first thing we did is lift the building up 100 feet off of the sidewalk. And you'll notice it in the architecture. And so you'll see what that does is it creates a public realm, a place for people to be, that's two and a half times greater than almost any other building that would have been put on this site. We didn't bring the building straight down to the property line. We raised it up at a considerable investment, by the way. And this was a direction from Jamie, along with a design from Norman. And together, those two ideas create this what I would say, very unique experience in New York City of freedom, of peace, composure. Um, it's got a, we have a public park on one side of the building, an incredible front yard on the other side of the building for our employees, and two um, plaza sidewalks on either side, which are basically double wide, that are very gracious, and they give people in New York a respite. And uh, it is built to be forward thinking and also respectful of the past. It has lots of features that um, I think folks would be interested in hearing about. It's completely electric and that electricity is all provided by a hydroelectric plant in upstate New York. And that hydroelectric plant is um, equipped with a, um, a product using blockchain that traces the green electrons from the source of origin to the source of consumption. So it's a very different thing than simply buying, uh, you know, a REC or uh, some they call them uh, PPAs. Uh, it's a very different thing. It is much closer to our sustainability goals as a firm, which is we want to be real about it. We want to have big impact on it. By the way, Norman is also a great advocate of that as well. Uh, so we had alignment in those areas right from the beginning.